Brown from Texas Streetcars in the shop today. We have my personal truck, a 2003 Chevy Silverado. We're going to talk about it a little bit and kind of what's going on. So my 98 Tahoe, the two-door Tahoe that we built, we just sold a couple weeks ago. I bought this truck to replace the Dale truck we had as kind of a driver, uh, driver type truck, but built it with some cool parts. So we bought this. It is a very, very nice, very clean example, low mileage, 40,000 mile 03. 5.3 fog lights, all power, 342 gears, automatic. You know, good option truck, all factory paint. The bed is spotless. The underside of this truck is really clean. And it's got some basic stuff on it now. We're about to go take it to change a bunch of that stuff. So right now it's just a 4.6 uh, Megahis drop on it with some 22 inch snowflakes. Factory exhaust, nothing else has changed. Our plan is to take it and go get Ride Tech stuff put up front, Ride Tech control arms, coilovers, Ride Tech rear shocks. We're gonna do 15 inch, I'm sorry, 16 inch little shop manufacturing, four wheel disc brakes all the way around, and then some BC forged wheels on it. So we're trying to kind of give it a little track truck look to it and hopefully make it ride a lot better. We'll do a little custom stainless cat back on it. And then maybe later we'll do some interior and stereo upgrades and look at some performance stuff. I don't wanna go crazy with it because I do wanna drive it, but that's kind of the plan. Um, exterior wise is all factory, still got the moldings. It's just a really clean truck. I'll post up some pictures of the underside. underhood and interior and everything but black interior charcoal interior whatever you call it really cool truck that's our plan it's our little build we'll kind of follow through this so we're getting ready to run it down to start having this stuff put on Tons of trucks in here now. Jason's trucks up on the rack. You can see they're dancing with some custom exhaust and stuff. Uh, 07, oh, wait. 07. 07, so we has got a bunch of other stuff outside. But we got our truck here, we got an 03 here. Pat, what are what are your plans? What are we doing? We're doing full front ride tech kit, coilovers. Uh, the rear's already been notched and lowered, so we're going to do a set of adjustable ride tech rear shocks. We're going to do a set of 16 inch little shop brakes all the way around in a custom color. And then we are putting a set of BC Forge 20 inch wheels with new tires. So going 22 to 20, I like the 20s a little bit on this truck. Let's go for the look we're after. So big brakes, coilovers in the front. We'll have the right tech sway bar, rear belt tech sway bar, and we have a dog. This is Max. So hey, Max. Max is going to help with the sway bar. <laughs> so that's the deal. It should be what? Two or three hours will be done. Maybe 30 minutes, like all the two, TV shows. Two or three days. Two or three hours. So we'll see you back in an hour. Got the truck back at the shop now. Ray's attention to the details is here doing. We're gonna do a full paint correction and ceramic coating. We got the wheels off, the wheels are over in the corner. Um, they've been ceramic coated, right, Ray? Yeah. Ray's in there. Um, we ceramic coated those. We're gonna do the whole truck. Obviously, you can see the suspension and brakes. We got the little shop brakes put in by Mr. G's and the Ride Tech stuff. So we'll post a bunch of pictures of that in the video. <music> We're going to Lone Star Throwdown on what day, Jason? Thursday. Thursday. It's this weekend in Conroe. If you're around, we'll have this truck out there, and we're trying to get Jason's dually done by then as well. So we should have both of those trucks out there, so come by and check it out. But here is the truck, and we're going to go to this paint correction. <laughs> gentlemen the truck is done it is all wrapped up we're going to go over some of the details we won't go over for the 14th time in the video i'm sure of what the suspension is you saw earlier um, raise attention the details came out did a full paint correction on the truck ceramic coated the wheels ceramic coated the calipers even ceramic coated leaf springs so i'll post a picture of that right now we can look at that but um truck is done i love the stance of it we didn't go as low as we have in other ones because i have a little incline in my driveway and if you've ever had ambs you know the transmission cross member and the little crossbar will drag when they get too low so i like the stance it rides great uh, with the ride tech stuff we've done these trucks before where you get a little bump steer in them once they're lowered this with the ride tech control arms is, is better than that so i'm very happy with the way it rides and drives 
And with these big tires, 315s, 275s actually handles really well. So the blue calipers I think look great with the white. I really just like the overall look of it. Um, in cleaning up this truck, it is super nice. Like I'll post some pictures of the underhood and everything. All the black uh, painted pieces, like the fender supports, I mean, are so clean. This truck, the underside of the truck is clean. Uh, Dan at VMAX Performance did the, the just a cat back on as a Magnaflow muffler. Not very overly loud or anything like that, so we like the sound of it. But overall, truck's done. Um, clean, open up the interior and look at the, the interior of this truck is wild. Everything is so nice on this truck. Like you can look at door panels, the factory floor mats. It's all very nice. I got a little towel in the seat over there so it doesn't get dirty, but the seat underneath it, you can look through the pictures. Bed of this truck is nice. Underside is nice. All of it's super clean. So Mr. G's wrapped up all the suspension. We end up rolling the rear fenders um, to get a little clearance for these 315s when we're going in and out of inclined areas. It wasn't rubbing on hidden dips, but going in a driveway to get a little rub. So we rolled those. Everything else is done. We're getting ready to go to Lone Star here in a couple of hours. So if you're out um, in Conroe this weekend, this truck will be out here. We're also hoping to wrap up Jason's dually in the next, what, 30 minutes, Jason? Uh, we'll see. Yeah, so. Waiting on the wheels to come in for it. Yep, that's the end product of the truck. Very happy with it. I love the look of it. This is kind of the first round of stuff done to it, and then we'll do another video if, if we, we're trying to decide on maybe a power rider or some interior updates, but we're not positive on that yet. So that is it here. We'll pull it out and let it look in the sun, but thanks you guys for watching. Thank you.